What's good, y'all? What's happening? Welcome back to The Heat Check. I'm your host, that girl, Kayla Nicole. We missed an episode last week due to the holiday. Had lots of turkey, lots of ham, lots of yam, but we're back and we're better and we're ready for our first story of the day. Let's get it. First up, we have some rather unfortunate news. Sunrise Christian Academy guard Bryce Cook has been hospitalized. He suffered a stroke this past Sunday due to a blood clot. The five foot seven senior was found unresponsive in Wichita after playing in his hometown of Dallas at the Thanksgiving Hoop Fest this past weekend. There, his team, ranked number eight on the Fab 50, upped its record to 4 0 with a 71 55 victory over number 16 ranked. Geyer. Inside the Plex tweeted an update on Cook's current condition, stating, quote, Bryce was awake, but he talked so much and cracked jokes and was singing. He was entertaining the nurse. He wore himself out, so he's snoring right now. He remembers everything that happened, and they will be running several tests to see what caused the stroke at Wesley Medical Center in Wichita, Kansas. Fans jumped to Twitter to offer their heartfelt support. Let's check out some of those tweets. At Paul M, The Real Talk added, major prayers going out to Bryce Cook, who was in the hospital from suffering from a stroke. DFW, please send a prayer for one of the toughest basketball players that we have ever seen. At Ron M Flores added, wow, seeing Paul M, The Real Talk's tweet that Bryce Cook of Fab 50 ranked Sunrise Christian Academy via DFW suffered from some kind of stroke. This is so stunning. Was just texting with SCA coach Luke Barnwell only a few hours ago. Kid is tough as nails. Life can change fast. SMU's head coach Tim Yankovic released a statement saying, quote, the SMU basketball family's thoughts and prayers are with Bryce Cook. We have been in touch with his family and will do whatever we can to help and support him. We are hopeful for a speedy recovery. Cook signed with SMU and by the looks of this recent video posted by his SCA coach, he is in high spirits and on track to a full recovery. <laughs> All right, guys, moving into our next segment, GTFOH. And first up, LeVar Ball is back on his bull. Now, we haven't heard from Pops in quite a minute, but he has resurfaced with some rather delusional ideas per usual. One being that LaMelo is better than LeBron was as a teenager, calling him unbeatable and the coldest person on two feet. Check it out. As a senior, a lot of people are comparing him to LeBron as a senior in high school. He's better than LeBron. Stop it. A lot of people are saying that. Because yeah, you gotta compare him to somebody, but he's the coldest person on two feet. So he's better than LeBron at, a, at age 18. He's only 17. Or 17, wow, as a senior. 17. That's Ain't insane. nobody done what he's done. His yeah. resume is unbeatable. Get the F out of here, LeVar. First of all, nobody is putting LaMelo and LeBron in the same sentence. In fact, the only comparison that we should be making is that Melo is a more offensive-minded Lonzo and an overall better scorer than his big bro. LeVar also says Melo will start taking college recruiting trips when he, quote, feels like it. All this hype comes after Melo's 30-piece game in ATL. I want to know, do you think LaMelo is better than high school Bron? Sound off in the comments below. All right, guys, moving into our next story, Dwight Howard is accused of abuse. A cisgender gay man named Mason Alleger is claiming to have dated Dwight Howard until things went south. Howard allegedly started a relationship with Mason after meeting on the set of Wild and Out. Things were going well until Mason found out that Dwight was also dating another trans woman. Yeah, and now apparently Dwight's church pastor is threatening and harassing Mason, trying to get him to sign an NDA to keep quiet about Dwight's sexual preference. I was afraid to speak, but today my life was threatened after I was sexually harassed, threatened and manipulated by someone I respected. My ex-boyfriend, NBA player Dwight Howard, and his camp also catfished by his disrespectful ass pastor. He then proceeds to call Dwight Magic Johnson 2.0 with amnesia and a 6'11 bottom. Now, Mason has quite the history of internet love scandals, fake screenshots, and major scammer behavior. But this time around, Mason is posting alleged screen recordings of combos that he's had with Dwight. Yeah, I don't know, guys. The story seems a bit fishy. What Dwight does or doesn't do off the court is really none of our business. However, he has been out 10 games this season for glute injury. All right, y'all, moving into our next segment, Heads Up. Check out this video of Cowboys receiver Amari Cooper doing the Markel Fultz on Thanksgiving. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
nice. Moving on to our next story, guys. As we mentioned earlier in the show, LaMelo Ball went for 30 points at the Skill Factory Holiday Invitational in ATL. Spire walked away with the dub. Last up, but certainly not least, Battle of the Unicorns. The Thanksgiving Hoop Fest brought us the elite matchup between RJ Hampton and Jalen Green. RJ Hampton finished with 36 points, six rebounds, four assists, and Jalen Green, 18 points, five rebounds, and four assists. Next segment, we've got LOL. Suns coaches seriously can't get their pregame handshakes together. TJ Warren, DeAndre Ayton, Devin Booker, Mikhail Bridges, Serbian born Igor Kokoskov is the top man of Phoenix after 18. All right, next story. Lakers fan plays a halftime card game, and it looks like he might not be smarter than a fifth grader. David, who will have 30 seconds to guess if the next card shown will be higher or lower than the first card shown at the table. If David guesses all these correctly, he will win a Pachanga getaway package. David, are you ready? Let's get started. Higher or lower than zero? Lower. Lower. Well, all right, it looks like your luck right now. Thank you so much for playing tonight's Pachanga High-Low Game brought to you by Pachanga Resort and Casino. Last up for our LOL segment, when one of the teams forgets their away jerseys, it ends up looking like an inner squad scrimmage. You can hear our cameraman at Brad Ball is Life saying, quote, I can't even tell who the hell is who. This video got over 568,000 views, 1,000 comments, and over 90,000 likes. Well, that's all we got for you guys today. It's been fun, it's been real, and as always, we want you guys to be a part of the conversation. Whether it's the first story or the last, make sure to tell us what you think in the comments below. Now, if you like what you saw here and you like the channel, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button now. If you missed our last episode and you wanna catch up, you can click right over here. And if you're a hoop junkie like myself and you wanna check out our latest highlight vids, click right over here. Thanks for tuning in to The Heat Check. I'm that girl, Kayla Nicole. Logging off.